Deacon is the king of calm. Anything that brings you back to me is what I want. The Lord of Liars. He can be very convincing, can he? And the Prince of Players. You tricked her and you used her. Now, who will fall for his game? Oh, Amber, I feel so much better now, baby. What happens next? My body's aching for you. We need this. Is everything. Absolutely nothing that you're saying clarifies for me why you would, how you would give $10,000 of my money to Simon Fraser. I, I did it for Lily, but she only had a little lollipop, that's a little lollipop, and the oh. cops weren't paying any attention to her, so I told Simon if he found any information that Luke and Holden were still alive, I'd give him ten grand. Right. And he, without Simon, she wouldn't have found that phone, she wouldn't have called Damien and heard his voice on the other end. And Simon Fraser's halfway to Australia. No, see, there you go, there's another feather in no. his cot. No, he went off to this island, the island, the same island where he was with Lily to find his other, the wife, the blonde wife, Katie. She's stuck on that island. What is she doing on that island? For heaven's sake, has this whole town lost its collective marbles? Oh, like 45 years ago. Where have you been? Ah, oh, you know, I give up. I give up. If you can't lick them, join them. All right. Meet his. Meet his price. I don't know. He could be on the island still tossing coconuts and stuff. I don't care. You just do whatever you have to do. I don't want her with no protection in a foreign soil, okay? okay. I'm going, all that stuff. Here, okay, thank you, thank you very much. Oh, and Rose, darling, let me tell you, it's been a long time in my life since anyone has taken such care of me and my money, and uh, thank you very much. But you take care of Lily properly, now! So get going! Ma'am? We were able to find a seat on that earlier connected flight to New York. Would you like it? Oh, yes, I would. It's boarding right now at gate 11. Thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Hold on. Luke. Just hold on. I'm coming. Uh, the bus stop must be this way. Oh, to heck with the bus. I'll spring for a taxi. Help. We don't have any money. Oh, you are right. Well, we'll find the limo stand and charge it to Craig's account. Come on. <laughs> have the technician send the test results directly to my office. Yes, Dr. Hughes. Wouldn't it be better if I stayed with her? Not if you have starved. Have you had anything to eat today? My stomach's a knot. Your mother would want you to take care of yourself. We'll know a lot more about her condition after this cat scan. I know you're doing everything you can, Uncle Bob. Thank you. It's it's just that I'm... I know. It's scary to see your mother like that. You're a brave young woman. Oh, I'm not. Mom has to wake up. If she just wake up, everything would be all right again. I've been trying to nail Montgomery for over a year. I thought I'd gone through every file on him that ever existed. You were using a computer, weren't you, Mom? I see what you mean. Yeah, there were times when files got lost, changing over from the manual system. If that file is buried deep enough in Craig's past, I don't know, maybe. Well, keep me posted, okay? Because I still don't have an angle on the story. I'll talk to Tom here, see if I can't talk to him off the record about his brother-in-law's past. Uh, yeah, well, you better keep me in the background on that one, because Tom and I are... not That's your call, Emily. I'll tell you something, if Craig's got a secret... I'm sure as hell gonna find out what it is. But listen, just because you've convinced me, it doesn't mean that the DA's office is gonna change their case. I will talk to Jessica, trust me, but mm -hmm. what she does with this information is up to her. But you believe me now. Yeah, I do. That's all I need. About her. No, I'm alone. It went better than you thought it would. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Margot's finally on my side. 
So, let's tie up some loose ends, get some cash back in Brian's trust fund, and get Lucinda off my back. Yeah, it's a good omen, Cass. It's a good omen. I think everything's gonna work out fine.